This video is intended for adults and children upwards the age of 14. Viewer discretion is advised. Yo, what's going on you guys? Welcome back to the Nerd Crate. Yeah, another one of those. Uh, I'm just on my way out to our little, uh, let's say, inner city. Uh, I wanted to show you what my actual town has for toys since I got a few comments on the post where I shared my video that uh, it doesn't look that bad when I did post the toy hunt in Bremen. Um, but that's not actually my town. My town I'm showing you, like I said, today with a few stores, uh, with a store called Oma Otaku Merch Anime um, uh, Spiele Max, Game Max, if you want it that way, or Toy Max, and um, also a, yeah, pretty much a, I don't know, kind of a home improvement store that got a hold of some figures. So uh, I'm gonna roam a bit through that, show you what what we got there. It's not that much, still no Earthrise, way more later to come, if at all. So uh, yeah, hope you enjoy. So I skipped that otaku merch anime store because uh, they had like two things which were some artifact statue of Han Solo and Chewie and the McFarlane Toys Dragons. Not that good. Here we are now at the Visconti store in my hometown and they got pretty beautiful kind of pop art Disney wooden statues. So uh, they got those here for quite a while and I can finally put them on camera. And we got more pop art stuff here. A lot of Disney, a lot of Mickey's, Seven Dwarfs, Lilo and Stitch. Beautiful stuff actually, beautiful stuff. Gonna adjust the light a little bit, I think that's better. Over here we got a little bit of uh, McFarlane, Game of Thrones and the HBO own release. I don't know what those are, maybe select. Let me check. Yeah, it seems like HBO released and more on okay wizarding world harry potter a lot of stuff here like i said this was originally a pure home improvement shop nerd shirts nerd shirts nerd shirts and more nerd, nerd shirts and they went into pop culture and figures and that shows over here we got a lot of flash the beast kingdom the mayfax a few statues spider-man die cast Nightmare Before Christmas, Muppets, Wonder Woman, more not shirts, not shirts. Mr. Bean, I just saw that. Downtown Abbey as a 3D puzzle, pretty interesting. Some classic Marvel up there. SHF cap. Uh, designer series Catwoman. They got a few more of those here, those are actually pretty nice. Some smaller statues. And some other select like Green Goblin looks pretty sweet. I kind of want a classic Green Goblin. I may pull the trigger on this. That Infinity War cap looks nice. Except the face. Jack Sparrow, more legends, more designer series. A few cars, Beverly Hills Cop, Godfather. Luminar style thing of Assassin's Creed and some pillows. This here now is kind of a little bit where the magic happens. We have Marvel Black, uh, Star Wars Black Series here a lot. And when we rotate this thing, we got some die cast Harry Potter things. Walking Dead in G.I. Joe styling. Walking Dead by McFarlane Toys. And some curing buttons and stuff. Below here is also another point where the magic happens. Original costume Captain Marvel with a weird face. Ant-Man the Wasp statue. Thanos statue. Star Wars Vogue 1 package. Uh, select gallery I believe. Huge piece on the Hulk here. Pretty nice. Hulkbuster Mark II. Dark side statue I need to check out in a bit. 
So here's here's quite a lot. It's all a little bit mixed up, but uh, that's due to the fact that it's just a home improvement shop, and they need to make space and all. So here's quite a lot. Classic Iron Man statue down there. This is a beautiful piece. Iron Man 2 SH Figure Arts. Comes at 120, but it's worth it. Comes packing, really packing. More Star Wars. More Star Wars. And Negan there, Daryl here. Me, Sean, Rick, and Daryl 3 pack. Those look actually quite nice. Could be digital sculpting. NECA Halloween, the looks one, usual. Uh, real toys by NECA, Freddy. Wes Craven's New Nightmare, rather nice. And a 25 centimeter, aka 10 inch Daryl. Looking pretty good. And some Batman here. Also those designer series of Superman, Supergirl, some, uh, I don't know the word, I think you can save money in there or something. So, uh, over here is child's stuff. A little bit of Doctor Who and Breaking Bad, and back there is something really nice I saw. Here we got a bit of Muppet, Nightmare on Elm Street. I could, no, Nightmare Before Christmas. And here we got a bat cave. Pretty amazing. Pretty cool. And back there we got some Mayfax. Those are pretty new. Need to check that Batman out. Mayfax Justice League. So those are pretty nice. I got some stuff. I got some stuff. More of the black and white series. So yeah, quite a bit. And here we are in one of the big stores. Well, big. We got a lot of Lego, or a lot of Lego for, for, for my town, which is which is rather nice. A lot of Technic, some Star Wars here, some Star Wars there. Followed up with some Ninjago, and that hidden side, that I showed you last week. It's uh, it's here too. That's cool to see. Maybe I pick something up with that. I kind of like that. Lego movie too. So that's nice. Big play sets here. Something for the girls. Always good to see. Uh, a smaller Batmobile. I wish I would have, would have seen the bigger one. I would have may pick that up. Lego architecture is here now. Cool. Didn't see that for a while. Minecraft. And now for the smaller folks. You want to see a real bad situation on Transformers? I'm not doing a countdown. Like the big Transformers over there is pretty much the most you will see. This is the state of Transformers in my town. And below there some last night. This is all. This is all this store has for Transformers. Which is ridiculous. Got some Schleich Wildlife, which looks rather cool. How to train your dragon. Siku, some model cars. Some hot wheels. More hot wheels. And a bit of nerf. And in the back over there, we got some Playmobil, but I'm not showing you Playmobil. So that is one of the big two stores. And this is the local Spielemax I told you about. And this is the saddest that I can actually say. Okay, oh, hey, well, we got to bot bots. I said in Voice of K on Tuesday that we don't have bot bots, but um, I don't care for those. But uh, well, here they are. Some Cyberverse. And that's it. Zero siege. Nothing. Cyberverse also not. Some 
Matchbox City with a super hollow dinosaur, some hot wheels. Oh, an original Bigfoot. Okay. I could see myself getting weak on that. I love Bigfoot. Back then, when monster truck racing was still a thing. Let's check the Lego aisle. More city, more hidden side, more Minecraft speed champions, and an actual Mac Anthem on discount. Not fair. <laughs> But no, I won't be taking this with me for now. And over here some more creator stuff. So, uh, yeah. That's the state my town is in. Toy-wise. So there's that, guys. That was my town. Toy-wise. A little bit. Um, I did omit the otaku merchant anime because I got in there and... He took a good back burner on general toys and con considerably uh, yeah, concentrated on, that's what I wanted to say, concentrated on anime more, so way more. They had Spawn before and SHF and now it was only a little bit of McFarlane and some other stuff. So yeah, that's a little bit bad, but the other guys or the other toy stores you saw uh, sad news about that store I showed you first, Visconti. Um, the mount mall they're currently in is supposedly being transferred or, or transitioned into a outlet mall. And uh, they are not fitting the concept, so they are now actively... You know, the, the owners of the, of the mall are now actively trying to push them out. Um, and also he has uh, problems with actually getting stuff so uh, his supplier is not the best um, he can't order hot toys the way he wanted to he had I believe once one hot toy but what is so uh, that's sad and uh, with the limited amount of time he seemingly has till the outlet store or outlet mall says okay you're gone now we need that space he said he's not focusing that, uh, yeah, that effort on that now. So for the time being, that's it, and it's seemingly going down for me here too, for toys and everything. So it's not the best city to be in for toys, guys. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, I hope you leave a like and also subscribe. I would appreciate it if you want to. Check out Daily Toy News, check my Instagram, and if you want to support us, head over to the Collector's Bay so you can support us good people in the Collector's Bay. Alright, see you guys soon guys. Thursday, a uh, little bit of a different thing. Uh, Hollywood Rides from, what is it? Not Jizai Toys, there's another one. Uh, but uh, The Night Industries 2000 from Hollywood Rides. Gonna see you then guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.